Okay, we're joined in the media center by our qualifying leader and funny car, Courtney Force. And Courtney, uh, kind of continuing your qualifying success here, you were number one at Pomona, and uh, now you guys came out of the gate here with another solid run. Yeah, it was definitely a good run for our Traxxas car, um, and you know, for this Chevy Camaro SS funny car. Uh, you know, it's only Friday, but it feels great to be able to get down there and at least, you know, make a good solid pass running in the threes. Uh, it, it definitely makes you feel good as a driver, knowing that you've got a car that can run that number and put it on the board, not just once, you know, at, at the first race of the season, but we did it again um, out here. Who knows if it'll hold? Obviously, uh, tomorrow, the I think the conditions will cool down again for the second pass, but, uh, you know, it, it feels great for tonight. It's a lot of fun for our team that, you know, we've come out here to Phoenix and haven't had the best luck out here in the past, so um, hopefully we can turn it around this weekend. Go ahead. Congratulations. Thank Considering you. all the uncertainties of last season and the short turnaround to get these bodies ready, should fans be surprised that you come out and pole at Pomona and not put again today? I hope not. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, it's definitely been, you know, a little bit of a struggle to get everything ready and done, but, um, you know, that's why my dad is who he is. I mean, he's uh, done a phenomenal job and kept these teams together and done um, great for all of us and, and just excited for all the new sponsors that have come on board and we all owe it to you know my dad I mean he works hard uh, throughout the off season, day in and day out and uh, Brittany and I do the best we can we've we've been to a few meetings ourselves trying to get some sponsors and uh, you know some some might be in the works actually so you know it's it's exciting for us um, and I don't think fans should be surprised you know we went out to Phoenix and uh, we made some solid passes there and I think that right there, we went into it not knowing how we were going to do either. And uh, to come out and have Brittany run, you know, her quickest career in the 60s and, and uh, for all of our three funny cars to, to run some solid passes all in the threes, um, it was an amazing, you know, day of testing. I mean, that's definitely what we needed going into the new season and the boost of confidence that I think we all needed as well. Given all the turmoil from last year, do you think the team members maybe needed an extra shot of early season, you know, morale booster than normally? Definitely. I think it's uh, helped gel our teams together a lot faster. You know, we might not have gotten a win in the in the first race out here, but you know, that's going to take some time. Obviously, like you know, like you said, my dad's got a new team with him this year, and um, you know what? These guys are doing a great job, and and I'm proud of them. And and uh, my dad's working well with them, and they're you know they're showing it on the racetrack. Alexis number two, if last year was the year of a woman, what's this year going to be? Hopefully this just continues that, you know, it's uh, it's exciting. I love being out here and, you know, hearing her on the radio run it. I thought she was going to run it too, um, but it, it's just exciting that we could be one and two right now. You know, it's not very often that we get to say that, you know, two girls get to be one and two out of a full field of men. So it's uh, pretty exciting. I hope, you know, whether it's me or her, you know, I hope we can stay up top.